Yo, what's going on, you cranky crustal? Uh, today we're playing some games with Orbital V Max. Now, this isn't my list, and I've actually given up on Orbital V Max for the most part. But uh, I am Fluke, which is the this person's list. Uh, they got top eight in one of the chill, C chill TCG series tournaments, and uh, I just want to take a look at it again and see what they had going on. And uh, this looks kind of wild. They have a lot of stuff in here. Um, there's a little bit of a tag call engine. A couple tag calls: Gazmahala, Maolana, Galen, Cynthia. Uh, 3 3 Orbital V Max, which I can kind of understand because you only really need to set up like a 2 2 to be fine and get uh, get rolling. Snorlax, of course, to hide behind early on and draw cards. Then there is the Buzzmosa Tag Team GX, GX in here, um, which we can find off the tag call, which is really nice. And then also uh, can be a really good closer with the GX attack or even with that Jet Punch early on for 30 30 to kick, kick knockouts against, I don't know, decks like, um, decks like what's it called would be really good for the jet punch like the mad party one to dene in here which is something i'm definitely not uh super excited about having this really weak two prize pokemon in the deck but you do want to make sure you can play your games consistently so having something like that isn't terrible i don't think there's a mimikyu of mr mime and a fion in here for the other support one prize pokemon mimikyu very good against mewtwo's mr mime really good at stopping specifically like decidueye from healing their pokemon so i assume this is kind of in here for the, the decidueye matchup but even up against like baby blouse or something like that it could be good and then Fionn can help push our opponent's Pokemon around and uh, abuse that so we're not like doing too much damage to our opponent's active. Like if they have like two, if they have like, I don't know, uh, if they have, even if they have energy on it, but we don't want to KO it, we'd rather KO it with the ability later on. We can push it out of the way, punch something else for the turn and so on. Uh, three Lily's Poke Dolls in here for us to hide behind. Uh, one Ordinary Rod, one Pokecom, uh, four Quick Ball, two Tackle for the Pokemon Search. Of course, Tackle only finds the Buzzmosa. Reset Sam for that late game comeback. Uh, tool Scrapper, say Bird Keeper as the main supporter because we want to be able to switch in between our Orbital V Maxes to use that ability um, and do 10 damage to all of our opponents' Pokemon. We want to be able to like use multiple uh, abilities during the turn if we can. So the Bird Keeper is super good for that for moving from Orbital to Orbital V Max, spreading 10 to everything. Um, then we got the Turf Fields to help find our Orbital V Maxes besides the Calm. One Wonders Labyrinth uh because into the late game we usually like all of our energy is going to our orbitals and they don't get knocked out that fast uh, unless our opponent is playing like a fire deck so we kind of stack up three energy pretty easily on an orbital and then be disrupted with the wondrous labyrinth against our opponent uh and then for the energy down here we got four aromatic energy which prevents the um <clears throat> special conditions so specifically against poison eternatus this is a big deal uh one capture energy two weakness guard to help against those uh those fire type decks and then three basic grass and then two user boards for some more mobility to move our or beetles around and get once again get those multiple abilities off a turn trying to do as much with those as possible to build up for the attack which can sometimes hit a little bit like that 50 plus 50 for the grass colorless we need a little bit extra damage to sometimes take those knockouts because that's not like too ridiculous much damage and when it gives what well, we give our opponent kind of control of not having to put energy in play like our opponent can be like i'm just not going to attach here and not attack this turn because i don't want you to hit me too hard something like that so our opponent does have a little bit of control over how much we can actually do for damage so making sure we can get as much damage out of our abilities is a pretty big deal and that's the list once again shout out to i am fluke for the build and uh yeah let's go ahead let's get into some games all right into our first one here we go we're going second um and our hand is okay uh, we did open the, the uh orbital v we don't we definitely don't want to open buzz mosa um so we're gonna go like u-turn board uh aromatic turf field marnie here and try and find ourselves a snorlax it shouldn't be too hard to find a snorlax we could also wait to attach <clears throat> try and get access to a uh ooh cramorant so we're up against some kind of fire or fire box deck <clears throat> type deck here that's gonna the cramorant is gonna be really annoying to deal with actually because it discards all of its energy and then it snipes for 160. um I almost don't want to Marty my opponent here, but I feel like I kind of don't have a choice. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Do the Marty. Got a doll. No, what's it called, though? Uh, no Snorlax. That's what we were really looking for here was the Snorlax. We go ahead and strafe, I think. I could take another VMAX out of the deck, but I don't want two more. V I don't want another VMAX in my hand, I don't think, actually, to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and strafe. <clears throat> hit for 20. Go into the doll. I uh, don't really have a choice. It has to be the doll. <laughs> And uh, yeah, now it seems to get sniped for 160, which feels really bad, actually. That feels really, really bad. We are weak to fire, which is also troublesome. But we do play those weakness guard energies. And when we're playing down Marnies or resets stamps to disrupt their hands, it might be hard for them to get the one at KO, to be honest, on our VMAXs once we get the weakness guard energy. But them doing 
the just the spit shot that's really annoying there's another failed stellar wish though so they might have to settle for a beat catch um which is kind of perfect for us to be honest um we can even go switch into oh the hard retreat trying to get another grab off the wish will it be three failed stellar wishes in a row let's find out oh there's a quick ball all right let's see what they can find with that um yeah we'll see what they can find yeah it almost seems like a mew would be good there's a talon flame so discard draw six and we can hit him up with a Marnie ourselves, though. We're going to go switch Marnie, or switch Evolve Marnie. Um, yeah, Fast Flight. Sure. Yeah, so some kind of Firebox. Um, we need to find that Weakness Guard energy. There's a Lax, so that's great. So we can go switch. Like I said, Evolve. Um, and then Marnie. Where the Bird Keeper reduce their hand size. There's the Weakness Guard. That's perfect. There's another Orb Beetle. So this is a pretty ridiculously good draw. And we got the second Turf Field in here, too. I'm going to go... Uh, <clears throat> weakness guard but i don't really want to hit i don't think i think i just want to draw cards with my snorlax set up this next v max and kind of go from there i could put the mr mime down to prevent scoop up nets on the jirachi but i think i'm gonna wait until they put a couple more things down um although i don't hate it i don't hate putting down the scoop up block mime here yeah let's go let's go for it let's go for it here i'm gonna retreat <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and hit him with the, the gourmand eyes here draw some cards switch Guzmahala. Ooh, nothing too this is like not great though it's like okay i was like felt very like a very okay draw i really wanted a mal and lana so maybe i could get like switch plus mal and lana and heal this after they cramorant snipe it because i assume that's what they're gonna go for here is a cramorant snipe which is gonna be uh, just really good against us cramorant snipe on our orb beetle is just really really good um i do like the idea that mr mime in play though i think stopping like they maybe only have net um it now kind of forces them to have a switch or use the switches now so we can maybe trap something later in the game with a boss something we could go for it looks like they just have attached to talon flame though and then maybe pass we can actually bring up the talon flame and hit it for uh what one uh 150 160 170 180 with another ping from this guy i don't know if we want to just like chill i kind of want to just chill again though and uh when the gourmand dies guzmahala probably get another weakness card for this or beetle um, there's a reset stamp so that's a good reset for us i think our hand wasn't that ridiculously good and we drew most of the same cards still have the guzman hala there goes our turf field but we got the guzman hala though so we can go get another turf field and put that in play i'll probably get rid of the calm and the marnie because the mal and lana seems really good to keep around to play around uh <clears throat> could keep the calm calm this way do i want to set up another orbital v is also another question i have for myself here like i could doesn't seem too ridiculously necessary. I do definitely want to get that other weakness guard energy in play for, for this Orb Beetle VMAX. Um, there's the Baby Blown. Um, we got, got to save the Marnie for the Baby Blown, I feel like, to disrupt the hand. So maybe the top deck. I don't want to get rid of the U-turn board, but we could get rid of the U-turn board, actually, to be honest. We go Guzman Holloway, common U-turn board. We'll see what we top deck. Uh, bird Keeper. I also like keeping Bird Keeper. I think I will get rid of the U-turn board here. It, it doesn't feel like I need both. Just the one, having the one around feels like it should be enough. So another weakness guard. Getting rid of that fire weakness once again. Um, and I do want to do this now because they could have the boss play next turn. Then we're just gonna go go ahead and gore man dies once again. Hopefully getting a switch so that way I can use the Mal and Lana. I did not get a switch. I probably don't want to put a War Beetle V in play anymore at this point. Um, because it could get bossed and knocked out. If, if I ever get into a situation where I don't think they can boss it, then I would put it in play to try and get into that third V Max and you know see that many more or get that much more spread off with the eerie beams but if i don't actually um <clears throat> do that then i think it's fine to just go ahead and, and never bench it but we'll see we'll see what actually happens here i could definitely see benching it being i mean getting that third eerie beam or once they ko one of my v maxes having that second eerie beam at that point to work with is a pretty big deal so i definitely like the idea of having it around but um i like the idea of having it around but I also don't want to put a two prize in play that they can just boss and knock out. Because we're out of weakness guards. And if we evolve it to a VMAX, then that's even three prize cards for them. And they've already got, like, this guy set up with the Brightwing. Stuff like that. So we do have to be a little bit careful. Um, they might be Brightwinging this turn. They might have the boss as well, though. They might have that boss play that I was talking about. But they might just Brightwing into my Snorlax, which would definitely be fine. Yeah, I think I don't. Yeah, they, they do have the boss. We can Mallow and Lana now, though. Which is the play I've been trying to use. Like, Mallow and Lana is super sick here. Um... I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep this around. We have another Mal and Lana now. So we have more Mallow and Lana 
spotter. I, I could like quick ball to thin out more, but I think I'd rather just why well, unless eerie beam. Huh? How can I do this? I do want to KO this or hit this. I mean, eerie beam. We could just Mal and Lana and then Snorlax again. I guess I don't hate that. I don't. I, I kind of want to hit this though. So I, they don't have a really big hand. They didn't do much last turn as well. We're gonna Mal and Lana. Yeah, there's no way I can use two Eerie Beams this turn. So I either go into the Snorlax and draw more cards, or I just go into a doll, put the doll under and hit. I kind of like the doll under and hit play, especially because I can Mal and Lana again next turn. So if they just use Talon Flame again, then uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and hit again next turn. G Max Wave 170. So we can go Eerie Beam. Maybe we can even, like, if we top deck a Grass Energy or a Switch card, we can Mal and Lana into this one and then attack with this. We can go Eerie Beam. Uh, Mal and Lana to this Eerie Beam. I guess we could get the prize cards at le at the very least, anyways, and then see what those give us. And that might be an out to attack or just switch back out into the bench, something like that. So yeah, we'll see what we we'll see what we get. I could have also, like I said, I could have just Snorlax this turn. I didn't have to go. I could have just gone Eerie Beam, Mal and Lana to Snorlax or Mandai. That also seems fine. But I want to try and get as much value out of my Malin Lana as consistently as I can. So that was like, I mean, I guess I still would have got the value out of the Malin Lana. Here comes another Bright Flame. Let's see what our top deck is. Hopefully a Grass Energy or Switch. It is a Capture. So I could just hard retreat this one. So we're definitely going to go. Um, oops. Don't forget to Eerie Beam. All right. Eerie Beam. There we go. Malin Lana. Again. Get rid of this. And I definitely want to keep the Marnie. Disruption is really good against these firebox decks. All right, Eerie Beam again. Townflame gets knocked out. And we could just go hard retreat or man dies uh, for the turn now. We don't have to. If, even if we get a grass energy here, depending on what they set up, we don't have to attack them. So really, it'll depend on what they send up if I want to attack into it or not. They do send up the Jirachi, which I would like to be able to KO, but I kind of also would be fine with not. But actually, you know, it seems really good for them to have the Jirachi here. I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. It seems really good for them to have Jirachi here because, like, they didn't have a, they have not had a lot going on. They didn't even weld their last turn. So I feel like taking the knockout is going to be pretty good. It also builds up another energy in play, which combos well with the Wondrous Labyrinth, which we just got off our prize card. So now I could go, like, next turn, I could go attach Wondrous Labyrinth, Marnie. If they put, bump a hearth, if they don't put hearth in play, I think I'll just leave my stadium and just sit on this hand and just keep doing what we're doing. Um, but if they do, uh, if they do go about, you know, putting hearth in play, all that kind of, all those shenanigans, we will go about it the other way, I think, for sure. There goes. Or here comes the Oracorio. Uh, there goes, here comes. I would really like to find my Caitlyn and Cynthia so I could once again get another Mallow and Lana. That would be great uh, to utilize. I would love another Mallow and Lana right here. Uh, so if we can hopefully top deck tag caller Caitlyn and Cynthia, that'd be great. Or right, here comes the Welder. Um, but they are playing like a Firebox deck, which is a little bit less consistent about getting like one hit KOs with Blacephalon. So they probably won't one hit KO. Uh, one hit KO me this turn. I would, I would assume they would whiff. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take a a guess that they're gonna whiff here on the uh on the one hit ko on my orbital v max because they need a they need 10 energy total which is a lot and there's the concede they're just giving up so they definitely whiffed and uh they don't want to play uh they don't want to play any further okay getting into another one we are going second again our opening hand is uh pretty good though double quick ball for double v we got the turf field plus v max and then snorlax start so we can just hit him up with that gormandize draw a bunch of cards on our turn one. We'll probably have to quick ball away at least one switch. Switches are really good, so I'd like to keep the second one. So maybe we can quick ball away our top deck, but we'll see what that is and then kind of decide where we want to go from there. Our opponent opens Crobat B plus a great ball. It's probably Eternatus, uh, I would assume. We'll see here shortly what exactly what they're playing, but I would assume it is the Eternatus uh, VMAX deck. So it's great ball plus Crobat. No confirmation yet. We're still waiting on it. All right, there it is, the Eternatus V. Um, this matchup is pretty, I don't even know, tough? Maybe it's fine, I don't know. It always seems tough. Kind of two-shot each other back and forth. Our spread damage doesn't matter a whole ton in this matchup from the uh, Eerie Beams. We still want to get it off, though. We still want to Eerie Beam as much as possible. Um, we'll see, we'll see. So we'll see what our opponents got, um, how aggressive they are. Another thing that can come up in this matchup is if they are the Poison build, we do definitely need to get those Aromatic Energy in play asap because uh otherwise our opponent can just kind of and there's the slow bro uh that can one hit ko our orbital v maxes so we have to be careful of that 
Uh, the Wonder's Labyrinth is really good for us in the late game, though. So we can set up that and go with that in the late game. That's good for us. There's the Wonder's Labyrinth. That's a little bit early, though. I'm going to go turf field. I'm going to quick ball away. So I think I have to get rid of double switch here, which kind of stinks. Uh, but we do need to grab double orbital. We don't have an energy for an orbital as well, which also kind of stinks. Uh, <laughs> that also kind of stinks. But we're just going to have to be fine with that. Uh, plenty of aromatic in the deck. All four are there. Question is, do I want to use the turf field for a VMAX or am I content with just leaving, drawing the extra card of the Gourmandize? I think I want the extra card of the Gourmandize. Um, maybe I didn't even have to put the turf field in play, to be honest, but the extra card feels pretty big. And with this draw, um, yeah, <laughs> we didn't draw a whole bunch of options. <clears throat> so our opponent whiffing this turn is kind of like not the biggest deal, but it would be pretty nice if my opponent whiffed this turn with the VMAX. Turn two, there's a power plant. Not a huge deal for us because we don't play. We only have the Dedene. We do play on one. We only have the Dedene. Only the Dedene that is in the deck that we have to worry about. So it's not a huge deal at all. There's a Marnie for my opponent. I like to see that we didn't have any energy. Um, dolls would also be something really great to find. Getting us deeper into our deck, U-turn board, stuff like that would be great. We don't have any V-Maxes now, uh, of course, which is not great. Uh, so we need to refine our V maxes. So of course that's not great, but our opponent not having a ridiculously good turn. There is a V max for us right there. Perfect. I um, mean, yeah, I could have held the turf field, I guess, but um, I don't know. I kind of wanted to see more. I'm just going to go go for man dies again. <clears throat> Another aromatic bird keeper as well. Uh, and a Marnie. Uh, we drew back into our Mr. Mime. Uh, that's fine. Um, so we'll probably just go aromatic again here and then Marnie, I don't even know where we're going to go from here. We'll see how this game, how it plays out from here. Um, there's the great ball for my opponent. They haven't found, okay, there's their VMAX. We just don't want them to have boss here. We really don't want to, we don't want them to boss hit our VMAX basically. If they don't even attack with the VMAX here, then we'll probably just split the energy and play Marnie and try and find our next VMAX. That's probably gonna be our game plan to split our uh, yeah, split our energy, find our VMAX. They actually have to put an energy on the Crobat here. Uh, guarantee the retreat. They, yeah, they are the poison build. That's confirmed now, which is definitely like the, uh, it's not that much harder because there is, oh, but they play crushing hammers. That is quite a bit harder. Oh no, not crushing hammers. Anything but the crushing hammers. Okay, this is gonna be bad. <clears throat> it's gonna be really really bad <laughs> we're we're in a bad spot we're in a really bad spot here now yeah, the crushing hammer is kind of take it to a whole nother level of uh unfortunate uh for us uh especially because they hit heads if they hit tails of course it wouldn't be that bad but even just knowing they play crushing hammer it's gonna make things a little bit tougher for sure for us <clears throat> the crowbat again i don't even know why there's no i don't think there's even a point for them to crowbat there they have everything they need to get the knockout they got their crushing hammer head so if they got in tails there digging for more crushing hammer would be reasonable so here we're just kind of looking to top deck a doll to bird keeper into um i guess i could bench mr mime and just bird keeper into the mr mime that would also be fine so i'm gonna like send up the v max spread for sure attached to the v max uh and then i could just i could just bird keeper into mr mime to be honest but i would like to top deck quick ball for snorlax or snorlax or doll i guess yeah doll would be good even Cynthia. I guess we're going to the Mr. Mime then. Um, yeah, because I need to make sure this isn't in my active. Oh, I didn't use. No, I we both we all know what happened. I didn't use its ability. All right, and got it all. It's a little bit late. I forgot to use Eerie Beam. Uh, pass over to my opponent. Please do not have another Crushing Hammer, and just let me keep my energy. Um, or if you have Crushing Hammer, of course, just hit tails. Of course, that's what I mean. Don't don't hit heads. You can have Crushing Hammer. You can have all the Crushing Hammers you want. But if you don't hit heads, I don't really care. So please, uh, please hit, please hit tails on crushing hammer. <laughs> and even if they do, we're still going to be in such a bad spot. I feel like even if they hit the tails on the crushing hammers, we're so far behind here. Um, and any like crushing hammer down, down the line is going to be a big deal for us. to like be able to set up our second V max. We're just kind of in trouble in general here. It feels like uh, even just boss here for my opponent would be insanely good. Uh, and just hit my V max before I get to use it. That would be like, not just as good, but that would be pretty pretty good um yeah definitely pretty good the second slow bro they're not even getting crow gunks i wonder how many they play maybe it's only like a 2-2 line or something there's that boss i was talking about um now we can i think we're gonna try and set up for like a late game boss stamp play um 
there's another crowbat kind of like what's it kind of a wasted crowbat though yeah we're gonna set up for like a stamp to one uh crushing hammer uh we're gonna set up for like a stamp to one plus uh boss something i've been trying like win through eerie beam i feel like has to be and i've already i already like wasted an eerie beam or didn't use an eerie beam earlier so we're like already super far behind to make that work um i'm gonna caitlin and cynthia i kind of want to set up i think we prized our second our third or beetle b though go ahead and quick ball away i don't think Fion's gonna be any good so i'm gonna quick ball away Fion. i'm gonna check yeah it's gone um probably grab the mimikyu Caitlyn sent the away the Mimikyu because I don't think that's going to be any good in this scenario. Uh, grab ourselves a Bird Keeper. Draw some cards. We need to find that boss. Like I said, we're going for this boss shenanigans uh, to be our, pretty much our win con at this point. Um, that's here. Could retreat to the doll, but I could retreat to Mr. Mime. It's kind of the same thing. I think I'll retreat to the Mr. Mime because I'd rather have dolls around later on in the game. And just pass. There we go. Let's see if they have another boss. They are down two boss now. And with Crushing Hammers and the Poison Package, I would kind of bet that they play three boss. Because fitting that many boss, it's going to be tough. Fitting four boss when you're when you're doing the hammers, you're doing the other stuff. Like, this is going to be not practical to be able to have all that in the deck. So we lose our reset stamp here, which isn't great. Um, we have to go back and find that eventually. Got the tag call, but that's not great either. There's no real great grabs off the tag call, actually. We could get Mal and Lana. Uh, which would allow us to be able to do two eerie beams this turn, which I think we'll just plan to do. Not gonna mount a lot of this one though, because that one gets gets knocked out anyway. So we're gonna set up this. We could hit here, I guess. There's nothing stopping us from hitting. There's the boss. Okay. So I'm gonna go tag call. Alan Lana. Um <clears throat> and maybe maybe the I mean Guzman Hollow doesn't really get anything super useful. That the labyrinth would be good. I guess um, we're in a bad, we're in a bad one. All right, we're going to go double Malo and Lana, I think, here. <clears throat> we're in a bad spot. Um, I don't want to put the turf field in play yet because I could still dead a change. So I don't want them to replace it immediately. I'm going to go Eerie Beam. I could go attach hit. I could just go Eerie Beam, go to Doll, pass. I think I'm going to do that. But this allows me to like efficiently use the Malo and Lana on the turn, which I guess I could retreat and hit still. Um, but I want to keep this guy's HP around for, for longer, if possible. Go pass. Do the same thing with Malon Lana next turn, maybe, if we top deck a doll. But like I said, we're in a bad spot, and it's not improving at all. We can set up the one with the, the U-turn turn board this time. Go Eerie Beam, retreat Eerie Beam, and then we'll go from there. We have the boss, like I mentioned. That we have the boss. They are down two switch, and they just put a second hiding energy in play. Comes Crushing Hammer. Nice, another tail. So we could like, try and trap this Hoopa. Or this Slowbro V, but I do want to combo it with Reset Stamp, so we still have to find uh, our Reset Stamp here. There's the Marnie, so that can help. I'm gonna go attach here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play the Turf Field at this point, and then go ahead and Marnie. We do need to get access to this boss again, so I want to shuffle the deck with Turf Field basically to put the boss on top of the deck again. Um, there's a Tool Scrapper, Norlax. I don't want to use. Um, go ahead and throw the other U-turn board here. Gonna go ahead and play this. Grab the Orbital V. Max, Eerie Beam, Retreat, Eerie Beam. And this time we're finally gonna attack. It's taken us a little while to want to attack, but I think now is the time. Eerie Beam. Still need a fight. We're still looking for that reset stamp combo. Uh, and then G Max Wave hit for 150. Yeah, we're still looking for the reset stamp boss combo. I feel like that's our win con. Maybe I'm kind of overthinking it, but I feel like we don't really have another great way to win the game here so i feel like that has to be our route we take we could even go into snorlax next turn actually if they don't um i actually could have burned tool scrapper taken my u-turn boards back and then put them back in play which i should have done because it does mean the tool scrapper's not in my deck so if they do marnie me this turn which they could um then if they do marnie me this turn then the tool scrapper would go back into the deck and it's kind of a useless card at this point so there's really no reason that i would want the tool scrapper back in my deck i don't want it in here anymore so uh, I should have tool scrapped both my U-turn boards and then put them back into play exactly where they are. But the, uh, <clears throat> oops, yeah, I guess oops, <laughs> my bad. Uh, the problem with going into Snorlax first though, before they take a VMAX knockout, is then they can go down to three prize cards and then my stamp is gonna be a little bit less effective. Um, so they're switching into the slow bro. Now they're down three switch and two hiding energy. 
If we can find this boss, I think it might work. If we could boss up something, trap it for a while, I think it'll work. Um, they're out of Crobat. They do have a lot of research left. They do have three research left. So that's a lot of hits, but they can't bat anymore. They're down all four bats even, actually. <clears throat> they're down all of their bats. Um, they have three research left, which would be some big hits off the off the reset stamp. But I'm feeling like we can pull this off. I feel like we can pull this off for sure. There's a Marnie. That's why I should have played that Tool Scrapper. Like I said, if we get Marnied, then I really wish I had played the Tool Scrapper. I really wish I had played the Tool Scrapper. <laughs> all right, let's see if we get Bird Keeper. Wondrous Labyrinth. They actually have a ton of energy in play as well. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. How many are in here? Seven. So Wondrous Labyrinth might <clears throat> work as well as just kind of a, you can't attack next turn. That gives us like an extra turn to work with. Um, here comes that Dread End. We could do that. We could do the Wondrous Labyrinth as well this turn. Let's see what we draw. There's the boss. I'm gonna go Yuri Beam. And then we're going to, um, Bird Keeper. Uh, could thin out that the reset stamp's not on the bottom though so i don't want to shuffle the deck actually with the turf field <clears throat> all right airy beam i could go wonder labyrinth this turn or i could combo it all i could go wonder labyrinth dead a change boss and hopefully get the stamp i think i'm just gonna hit this turn actually instead uh with this one i'm gonna shuffle the deck anyways with this so we may as well go ahead and grab this out of the deck as well the stamp is in there Grab this. <clears throat> Capture energy here. Fail. I guess I could have left this in the deck, actually, so I could have set up two more. Yeah, I maybe should have left that in the deck, actually. Fail that. And then go ahead and G-Max Wave for 150. Uh, and yeah, now we can go... Yeah, I should have I should have actually left this V-Max in the deck. Because I could have actually used it <clears throat> uh, to set up a second V-Max. Or a third V-Max at this point. I could have recovered this uh, War Beetle V covered the orbital v there's a research getting rid of all their researches so all their researches are gone um they put another energy in play they have one switch left so they don't have a ton left we can maybe once again we can maybe make this work another important reason to save the wonders labyrinth is if they do put a power plant in play over my turf field i can wonders labyrinth to bump that to make sure i can dead a change all right dread end happens here we go send up the orbital v we need to find this reset stamp let's see if we can do it yeah i should have not taken the v max though because i could well i guess i could still recover the v and the v max actually um yeah, i could still recover v and v max so we can do that and i think i do need them kind of so i'm gonna go um no we could just get the stamp and then just go knockout boss knockout that that almost seems just as good so i can go wonders labyrinth attach and then dead a change don't boss and then we have a boss in the deck just hope we find a reset stamp disrupt their hand go from there and then we could also like play marnie or something to try and dig deeper for it so i guess this makes most sense here yeah we can now bird keeper so i can go like uh eerie beam uh i guess i could i might have to end up with a doll in my active here so we're gonna go bench the doll bird keeper hopefully get reset stamp no reset stamp i think we have to pass i don't think i can leave this in the active it seems too risky pass we got so far the reset stamp is nowhere to be found though um so now we are in if they have a huge hand yeah the reset stamp nowhere to be found i think i played it pretty well up to this point but it i think we're gonna come up a little bit short here unfortunately maybe they don't have i mean they're down to power plant Maybe they don't have any power plant left. They may be out of draw supporters, so if it's in their deck still, they maybe just not be able to find it. What else could we have as outs here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight energy in play. So not a whole ton of energy left. Here comes a switch into a slow bro. They can poison my doll, but I have a I have a uh, bird keeper to get out of that. Um, so I'm not too worried about this play from my opponent. We still have that reset stamp left. Here comes a crushing hammer. We have plenty of energy in the hand though, so this thing can attack just fine next turn. Um, got rid of my aromatic. Yeah, I think we're still fine. We're still cruising here. <clears throat> yeah, bird keeper out. Uh, maybe even can heal the doll by putting it under. But even it having like, it'll only take ten going into our turn. Then we heal the poison, so we can just put the doll back in the active. So just finding the reset stamp, I think, is still. And they actually send up their turn as Vmax here. So are they gonna hit? Uh, maybe they didn't realize the wonders labyrinth doesn't play until right now. Maybe they have another power plant. No, they have an energy. Okay, so they're gonna KO my doll here. Um, I'm gonna send up to Dene. Because I want to be able to bird keeper into the orbeal. And once again, I'm if I whiff stamp, I might well I could KO this one actually. 
Um, let's go with the bird keeper first. If I whiff stamp and we get a doll, I might go into the doll. Okay, we got the stamp. So we're stamping to one. They don't have a ton of energy left. I just go attach, swing. We don't have the boss for next turn, but... Don't forget the eerie beam. We don't have an aromatic energy as well, so we do get poisoned by Slowbro now. G-Max wave. And yeah, no... Uh, no boss. We have one boss left in our deck. We only have a four card deck. So it's actually a pretty pretty reasonable that we could draw into the boss next turn, actually. There's another V. Um, yeah, I mean, this is how it's going. <laughs> they currently can't attack. And they use another energy there, which is like one, two, three, four, five. I keep counting. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. They usually play around 10, sometimes 11 energy. So maybe they only have one energy left, or maybe they only play nine. I, it's not the most ridiculous thing. Um, but we still have three prize cards to draw. So we have if we don't get a boss this turn, then we don't win this turn. I could just Mal and Lana for the turn. If we top deck doll, and we have one doll left, maybe two. We have one doll left. There's a quick ball. So they have no cards in hand, but they're out of crowbats. Um, so that's not gonna be able to get them a crowbat to see through the rest of their deck. Um, we don't guaranteed win next turn. Like I said, we don't have the boss. <clears throat> but if we just top deck doll or boss, we can hide behind the doll for a turn. Um, we could actually even bird keeper into the doll put the doll under then we won't have a doll in our active so if they do top deck an energy we do lose or draw supporter into an energy but they really don't have any draw supporters left uh, hopefully we top deck boss and don't have to overthink this at all and we just like boss it up knock it out game over uh, mal and lana doesn't do a whole ton here either uh can't heal enough damage uh, so they run to the crowbat they can't move the crowbat so they need to top deck two cards but they need two cards to be able to do anything but we don't win the game either i guess so let's go with maybe just mal and lana let's see what's left in the deck i'm gonna do this first norlax aromatic boss okay so the doll is prized um eerie beam before i forget i kind of want a mal and lana while i have it right in my hand right now bench this as well attach an energy to it attach an energy now and lana Get rid of these two just kind of play around reset stamp maybe fourth marnie as well go to this <clears throat> tool strap of the u-turn board put it on the dedene retreat um it doesn't really matter what i have in my active here because if they can attack with the eternatus they kind of ko us anyways so g max wave 50 um, just get the damage in play. Two cards in deck. One of them is a boss's orders. Um, my opponent needs two cards to win this turn. They can't just top deck energy now because they chose to retreat into this Crobat. Let's see what we top deck. There's the boss, and we make an insane comeback in this one. Holy moly, what a game. Super long. Beat the Eternatus with the Orbital V Max. Um, yeah, what a crazy game. That one took forever. Uh, had a couple different lines of play. Uh, got really close at the end there, and uh, hey, we end up with the dub. That's all you gotta do. Play properly. Hope your opponent sometimes just doesn't have the things they need. My opponent didn't. Couple tails on crushing hammers. Couple uh, no bosses. Um, stuck them. They didn't have the energy on that turn. And hey, sometimes it works out. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.